Welcome, in this video I'll show you how to create an NFT or fungible token in the Tockle Decentralized app. This is my Tockle Decentralized app wallet. As you can see I've got 831 Tockle coins and I've got five different tokens. Today we'll be creating, so we'll hit the Create tab. Here you'll decide on whether you need to create an NFT or fungible token. We'll start off with an NFT. Start off at the top by naming my NFT, my tutorial NFT, and the description. This showcases how to create an NFT using the Tuckle DAP. As you can see here, the supply is one because uh, it is a non fungible token. The media URL I'll be using today is uh, an IPFS hash. Uh, if you are using IPFS or anything else, please have a read uh, and consider how you link that in the token itself. IPFS. Uh, the royalty for this NFT will be 5%. If you have a collection of NFTs uh, that you've previously created, they'll show up here and you can select that, but this one won't be uh, a part of a collection. But I do want to add some custom attributes, so I'll click Add New, Attribute Name, Strength, 55. I'll add another one. And I can continue adding as many as I want. If you accidentally add too many, uh, then you can just click this minus button to remove them. Once I'm ready to go, I'll click this checkbox saying that I've double checked all the inputs and click continue. Here I can double check the information again, make sure I've put the right information in there. The app will show the uh, picture or the IPFS link here to make sure it's the right one. And once we're happy with that, we can click, I understand creating this NFT will cost that amount of toggle. I'll go ahead and create my NFT. This is the token ID of my NFT, uh, and this will link us to the Blockchain Explorer page to look for the information. Uh, but I'll look at it through the DAP itself. So we'll click Go to Wallet, and now we'll wait for it to appear uh, inside the wallet here. This may take a few minutes while the blocks are being broadcast uh, to the blockchain. So we've waited a couple of minutes and my tutorial NFT has shown up in my wallet. I'll click that and you'll be able to see all the information associated with it. So the name up the top, the token ID, the description, the URL, uh, and all of the other information and arbitrary data that we added to it. And you'll also be able to see a preview of the image itself from IPFS. Uh, we can now go ahead and create a fungible token and it's much the same process my tutorial fungible token. Well, not having a good day here with my spelling. And the biggest difference here with the fungible tokens is the amount of uh, tokens you actually want to create. So. Uh, instead of being a non-fungible token where there's only one of them, we can actually create uh, many tokens with exactly the same data associated with them. So here I'm going to create uh, 55,000 of them. Understand, same issue, but we're going to use the same IPFS link. Just copy the right one there. And the royalty will be 3% on this one. Uh, this fungible token will have no custom attributes. Happy with that, I'll continue. It's got uh, the preview of the same image there. The big difference here is that the cost of creating an NFT is uh, significantly more if you have a large supply. So for each token you want to create, it costs one Satoshi of the Tockle coin, plus the standard uh, transaction fee for the blockchain. So here you can see it's a 0 0.0002 transaction fee plus a 0.00055 fee for creating 55,000 tokens. So I understand that and we'll create my token. 
as you can see, slightly different uh, token ID, and we'll go to our wallet and wait for that one to show up. We've waited another couple of minutes, and my tutorial fungible token has shown up. As you can see, it has the same uh, IPFS hash, so the image will look the same, but we have uh, less data associated here, and we also have the 55,000 uh, tokens in our wallet. So um, you'll notice also there's a difference between NFTs and fungible tokens. Uh, hopefully that clears up how to create NFTs and fungible tokens using the Toggle DAP. Thanks for watching.